Okay, class, so now dealing with conversions or rather with exchange rates, um, we are going to be working with the following currencies. We're going to be working with the USD, which is the US dollar. We're going to be working with the South African rands, and we're also going to be working with the Brazilian real, okay? So I just want to show you guys something very important in the second question, but for you guys to understand the second question, you have to understand the basics of exchange rates first which I will include in the first question, okay? So this basically means, this information that we've been provided with, it basically means that 3,741 US dollars is equal to 68 rands 28 cents. So if you have 68 rands 28 cents and you move to the US, when you get there and they convert your money to their currency, it is going to be $3,741, okay? Same thing happens with this one. If you have three rands twenty three cents and you move to Brazil and they have to take your money and convert it or rather change it to their currency, it is going to be one um, one real two cents if that makes sense to you guys. So now the question says convert two thousand four hundred and thirty one u s dollars to South African rands. So how do we do that? you're going to use the information that you have been provided with, okay? You're just going to copy it as it is, where it is talking about USD and South African rents, okay? So here they tell, they tell us that 3.741 USD equals to how, ma how many rents, how many South African rents? It's equal to 68.28 South African rents, okay? So now, this is the information you have been provided with. So what you do from here is you put the same currencies on the same side, okay? Using your equal sign as the, div the divider, okay? So on this side, we have US dollars. How many US dollars have we been given or how many US dollars do we have in our question, okay? We have 2,431 US dollars, okay? So now, how many rents have we been given or how many rents do we have? We haven't been provided with any South African rents because it is what we're trying to determine. Ne? So we're going to put X here because we don't know the answer to it. So from here, we use the cross multiplication method. Okay, multiply this by this, multiply this by that. Okay, cross multiplication. I hope it makes sense. So you're basically just going to say X multiplied by 3,741 US dollars equals to 68.28 South African rands multiplied by 2,431 US dollars, okay? Now you do your calculations. This multiplied by this, it's just going to be 3.741X equals to, now we click this on the calculator, 68.28 multiplied by 200, 2,431 that gives us a total of uh, 165,988 rents. Uh, oh, sorry, sorry, you don't have to put this here yet. Okay, so now we have our thingies, ne? we have our numbers on both sides, we have multiplied, we have done our part. So what's next from here is that we only want to be left with X on the side. We want to eliminate this number, we want it gone so that we're only left with X. How do we do that? We divide both sides of the equation with the number that is on the same side with the X. Okay, so we say this side divided by 3,741 and because we have divided on the left hand side, we also have to divide on the right hand side as well. Okay, so with the same, same amount, okay, so even on this side, we're going to divide with 3,741. So this 3,741 cancels the, this one. So on this side, we are successfully left with only x now. Okay, so x equals two. Now we divide these two and then we get our answer. So it's 165988.68 divided by 3.741. Our final answer is 
44,370.13633, okay? So this means that um, we were converting from US dollars to South African rand. So this means that our final answer is how much? 44,370.14 cents. This is our final answer. So if you have, you're coming from the US and you're moving to South Africa and you have in your account, you have $2,431. When you come to South Africa, they convert that money from dollars to South African rands because you can't use dollars in South Africa. You have to use the currency there, which is South African rands. So if you have this amount in dollars, you basically have 44,370 rands, 14 cents in your account in rands, okay? So this is how we work with um, conversions. Now we're gonna go to the next question, which is, a bit complicated which i'll just explain to you guys why i'm saying that just now so what we do here they say convert three thousand us dollars to brazilian real okay so what's the confusing part here is that when you look at your conversion numbers here you haven't been told how many us dollars equals to how many Brazilian reels, okay? You don't know that, you haven't been provided with that information. Instead, you've only been told how many, you've only been shown how to convert from USD to South African rents and from South African rents to Brazilian real. But you haven't been told how to convert from um, US dollars to Brazilian real. So how do you do that? That means you have to do what? First thing, you have to convert from USD to South African rents then convert from South African rents to Brazilian real. So it's more of a complex question to answer. And this is how you're supposed to do it. So B, um, we're converting 3,000 US dollars to Brazilian real, okay? But we're going to start with converting it to rents first, then take it from rents to Brazilian reals. I hope that makes sense. Let's get to it. So we're still going to use this piece of information that has been provided to us in the question paper, which says 3.741 USD equals to 68.28 South African rents. Okay. So what do we do with, in this, with this information? We are converting our USD to South African rents. Then we take it from South African rents to Brazilian real. So now, do we have the USD? Yes, we have been given the money in USD and it's 3,000. So USD on the side, South African rents on the side. So since we are trying to find the South African rents, we put X on the side. I'm not going to dwell much on this because we did it here. We're just going to get to the answer now. So we cross multiply, okay? So here it's x multiplied by this. It's going to be 3,741x equals to 3,000. Okay, we can write this one down. 3,000 multiplied by 68.28, okay? So 3,471x equals to, now we take this on the calculator, 3,000 multiply by 68.28 and that gives us 204,840 okay we want to eliminate this number so that we can only be left with x how do we do that we divide both sides by the number on the same side with the x which is 3.741 3.741 741 on the side as well this one cancels this one we're left with x on the side now we divide these two to get our answer so 204 840 divide by 3.741 that leaves us with a total amount of remember these are south african rands this leaves us with a total amount of 54,755 rands, 41 cents, okay? So now we have successfully converted the US dollars to South African rands. Now we have to take them from South African rands to Brazilian real because we have been provided with the method to convert that, okay? So uh, we're gonna do it here. 
So we start by copying the information given to us, okay? So we know that 3.23 South African rands equals to 1.02 Brazilian real, okay? So this is the information that we've been provided with on the question paper, okay? So now what do we do? We put rands on the same side and Brazilian reals on the same side. Do we have rents? We do have rents, which we got from our previous calculations, okay? So it's 54,755 rents, 41 cents equals to, we don't have the Brazilian real, so we put X here. Then we cross multiply, X multiplied by this one, it's going to be 3.23X equals to, um, 54,755.41 multiplied by 1.02 Brazilian reads. Okay, so it's going to be 3.23. I hope I'm not going too quick because I have explained how to do this method on this question. I expect you guys to understand it, hence, I'm just going through it now without explaining further. So from here, it's equals, now we multiply these two. Uh, okay, so we say 54,755.41 plus, oh sorry, multiply by 1.02. And that gives us a total of 55,850,52, okay? So now what do we do? We want to be left with X. We want to eliminate this number. How do we eliminate it? We divide both sides by that number that is on the same side with X. 3.23 cancels this one. We're only left with X on this side. X equals two. Now we divide these two to get our final answer. So 55, 850.52 divided by 3.23. And that leaves us with a final answer of 17,291.18. Okay, so that means that our final answer is in which currency? In Brazilian real. Because remember, we were converting 3,000 US dollars to Brazilian reals. Okay, so now our answer will be in Brazilian reals. It is going to be 17,291.18. 1.8 Brazilian real. Brazilian <laughs> real. And that is your final answer. So this is how you're supposed to work with such questions. If you haven't been told how to convert from USD to Brazilian real, but you've been told how to convert from Brazil from USD to South African rents and from South African rents to Brazilian real. So that means you're going to have to make your answer complex. You're going to have to convert from USD to ZA first and then from ZA to Brazilian real. So it's more of a complex question. It needs critical thinking. You have to engage with the question and you need to make sure that you understand what is really actually required of you to do in order to find the correct answer. So this is how you work with um, exchange rates. I will try to make more videos with the previous papers, but I hope this was helpful. Um, thank you so much for watching this video. May goodness and grace lead you to the great heights of success.